my lightning talk today is about uh, ways of making your blog entry more popular. And it, this was spurred in part by uh, the idea in Nick Plus that you can not only get points for writing any blog entry, but for writing one that turns out to be popular. And so I thought maybe it would be fun to look at what makes a popular blog entry. Uh, so the first thing I did was look at uh, the most popular blogs at Near Infinity. And it's interesting, actually, and this has been the trend for a long time. Uh, Joe and Lee are uh, really popular bloggers. So they get a lot. And actually, you see Joe's, that top one, uh, with uh, one, an older post. How, how old is that now? It's very old. It's, but it's not like if I, this is for the last six months, so I did six months. If I do one week, the most popular page on our site is that blog from Joe. If I do one month, it's Joe. If I do three years, it's Joe. I mean, this is, this is like a really, it's almost comical how popular that, that blog is. Um, but Lee has a, some hits on there as well. I, I went a little farther in and looked at, um, it's interesting, for Joe, that, that blog that's really popular of Joe's, um, you know, there were, in the six months, there were 4,764 page views. 2,531 of those were referred by Google. And then there were a bunch that also came from Stack Overflow, which is probably part of how it got a high ranking and how, how people find it. Um, so I wanted to just go through a couple of things. Um, not to say that, I, I don't know, maybe Joe has some other magic and he'll share some thoughts with us. Um, but OK, so here are my tips. So the first one is write about a hot topic. And I, I think a lot of people, when they sit down to write a blog, aren't sure what they should write about or what might be of interest to people. And I found this, this tool when, in doing research for this um, that I thought would be useful to people who are in that situation. There are two of them that I had on there. This one is uh, Suval, I guess. And so let's say you wanted to write a blog about Ruby on Rails, but you didn't know what people might care about related to Ruby on Rails. So you could come here and type in Ruby on Rails. And what you're seeing here uh, you know, and, uh, are other things that people are searching for in different uh, websites um, related to Ruby on Rails. So you can see what people are seeing in their type ahead. Um, and so if you have an idea, you can get some inspiration here. Um, so I thought that was a, an interesting way to do that. Let's see if I. Um, and Uber suggests is the same kind of thing. Um, and also, another uh, approach to take would be to look at something like uh, Stack Overflow and look at some of the unanswered questions there and see if one of them inspires you, like, oh, hey, I know the answer to that. And either uh, you know, blog about that topic and link back to it is, is another way of, of um, getting an idea for a blog. And uh, you know, one of the things that is uh, they're um, really popular, they come up in a lot of search um, Search results are top 10 lists, top 25 lists. It's a fairly easy thing to write in a blog, so it's just another, another thing you could try. Um, OK, so keep the title short. Uh, this is, so in terms of how you get the hits from Google, uh, this is one of the, the key ones. It's, it's kind of two things. It's uh, the search engines finding you, but then also the, when the results are there, that the readers can really quickly see what it's about. And, the idea here being, and maybe this is obvious, but uh, the, the most important words are less watered down if you have a short, uh, a short title. And so you're talking about six to 10 words. Uh, I was looking actually at Stack Overflow. I think it was that one. They'll actually uh, won't even accept it if it's more than 57 characters. And Google and Bing both start cutting off around uh, 55, 60, 65, depending on how long your words are. And so anything after that, most people are never going to see those words. So try and condense it down, um, and you'll that's will help people find it. And then the last one, uh, get out there. Uh, you know, just submitting uh, to various sites. Uh, you know, of course, it's great for people to find you organically, but there's no harm in submitting if you have something. Um, you know, going to, to uh, a couple sites that you think are a good fit and uh, suggesting it, and you may end up with, with a big hit. So um, I think that's my time is up, unless anybody has any questions. Oh, and yeah, this isn't really related, but I just thought, you know, 
Never hurts. All right.